hello everyone welcome back my youtube channel salesforce hunt this is rohit and today i'm going to show you how to enable and disable developer console for the users in salesforce so if you are new in this channel so please subscribe the channel please turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my side and please watch this video until end if you want to learn something new so let's get started without any further delay so first of all in my org just click on this setup because I uh, I need another user for testing purpose so that's why I already created one user for testing purpose that is called Johnny Smith right so just let me click on this login button once you clicked on this login button you cannot see any kind of you know like setup option for this user right this user you cannot see any kind of developer console option inside this user why because because I already disable it so how to enable and disable it in this video you will be learn this kind of things here so first of all if you want to enable it so first of all let, let me log out it once you log out it now click on this user profile of custom sales profile of this user and here just you have to edit this profile first of all and once you edit it then we you will be see this uh, developer console option for this for this user in both environments lightning experience as well as classic experience in both ui right so let me check this view all so re uh, let me edit this profile first of all here just click on this edit and once you see this one like view all data this is the very most important setting if you want to enable developer console so you have to click on this view all data once you enable it one another setting automatic checked that is called view setup and configuration just observe here just click on this view all immediately you can see it's automatic checked so once you enable it you will be see developer console option for this user or any kind of user in your org so I already enable it now let me log in it and let's check uh, this is working for this user or not so once you logged in it now under the gear icon click on this developer console here you can see this option so I already enable it that's why you can see this developer console just click on this developer console immediately you can see this developer console here right how to disable it let me show you again so just click on this logout as Johnny Smith once you logged out it click on this profile again you have to disable this setting right so just edit this profile here and uncheck this setting like this one and just please keep in your mind this setting right view setup and configuration and view all data this is these two settings very most important if you want to make it any user to work on the developer console so that's why I already disable it right it's because of previously it was enabled and this time you cannot see this developer console option for this user so just let me log in into this user and once you logged in it you cannot see any kind of setup or developer console why because it's automatic disable it right so let me click on this switch to lightning or switch to classic and in the classic also you cannot see any setup option right and developer console so once you click on this developer console it will not be open why because I already disable it so in the classic also you cannot see or you cannot access the developer console here you can see right so this is the way to work on this hide uh, like enable and disable the developer console for the users how to enable and disable execute anonymous window for the users in salesforce so if you are new in this channel so please subscribe the channel and turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of updates from my side so so let's get started without any further delay so first of all you have to create a one test user so i already created this test user for testing purpose so once you clicked on this logged in button so you can see here i just logged in this user but I cannot see any kind of you know developer console option let me log out here if you don't know how to enable this setup option you can watch my previous video so just click on this profile here under this profile just you have to edit this profile let me click on this edit and 
you have to search one setting here that is called view all once you enable it let's say view all this one one setting is automatic enable this view setup and configuration right so just click on this set save button and again you have to log in into this user so this time you will be see the this developer console options and just click on this login once you logged in it just click on this setup gear icon and you can see the developer console here once you clicked on this developer console right so you can see this is the developer console but if you try to execute any ex anonymous code you cannot open it or you cannot create any apex class triggers anything once you clicked on this file new is new button is already disabled right same thing under the debug you cannot uh, execute like open execute anonymous window here why because this user doesn't have this kind of you know, uh, like permissions right so how to provide this kind of permission for this user let me show you right now it's disabled you can enable it and disable it based on your requirement so let me close it let me log out here once you log out it now let me click on this profile and edit this profile here and you have to check that uh, one option here that is called apex author so you have to search like apex like author apex so this is the setting you have to enable it if you want to create any apex class triggers lightning component or static resource or we can say that execute anonymous code so you have to enable it right so just click on this setting and just click on this save button once you saved it now you have to login into that user click on this login button once you logged in it now click on this gear icon click on this developer console here and this time you will be see file option as enabled you can create any kind of you know like apex class apex trigger static or lightning token okay and under this debug you can select open execute an unius window you can open it and you can execute this piece of code here right so this is the one option here how to disable it let me show you again let me log out here and click on this profile here edit it and now just uncheck that option that is called author apex uncheck this option click on this save button once you saved it now you have to log in to this user and I'm just logged in into this user click on this gear icon click on this developer console and this time you will not see like file new button as a disabled here Be why because we already unchecked that uh, author of X setting right and also you cannot execute any kind of piece of code inside this developer console or debug or open execute on this window so this is how to enable it and disable it this uh, execute on this window in Salesforce so guys I hope you learned something new in this video if you feel like this is very more informative for us so please subscribe the channel please turn on the bell icon so you never miss any kind of update from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys